Welcome. So in this week, we've actually solved the work from all of the different forces that have useful works to solve. Eventually, we'll find works that have useful potential energies. Let's invent ourselves a new force, similar to our spring force. We're going to call it a super string spring force. So give it a little bit different of a symbol than our original springs. And we're going to say that the force from our super spring is going to be negative c for a different constant than k. But instead of x to the first power, we're going to have x to the third power in the x direction. What we can also then say is right that the force for our super in the x direction is negative c x to the third. So if we want to draw this, right, our force versus x, for the spring we just drew a straight line with a slope of k. Now for this we're going to have something of that. Well, we can start with our work. And with this dot product, we can treat dot products as we normally do if you know vector calculus. Or we can expand our dot product if we don't feel comfortable with that just yet, as it's then the force in the x dx plus the force in the y dy plus the force in the z dz. This is our definition of what it means when we say this dot product, is that we're just too lazy to write this out. And then we're going to start from some x1 to some x2, from some y1 to some y2 to some z1 to some z2. Well, if we're doing this, we only have a force in the x. We don't have the force in any other directions. So we can cancel these two out because we have right no force in the y or the z. And then we just plug in the force from our force equation. So now we have the work from the super spring is the integral from x1 to x2. f of x is negative c x to the third and then so if we want, we can bring negative c out because it's constant, but we hopefully feel pretty good. Integral of x to the third dx would give us x to the fourth over 4. So the work from our super spring is going to be negative c x to the fourth evaluated from x1 to x2. So the work from our super spring is going to be negative c x2 or x final to the fourth over 4 plus c x1 to the fourth over 4. So we can say, right, if we want our initial position to be 0, that if, right, x1 is equal to 0, then our work for our super, right, x initially equals 0 is negative c x to the fourth over 4. So whenever we're given a force, we can break it into components and plug it into these things and then take our integrals. Feel free to use an integral table or website to do the integral for you. So then what this would look like is that our work drawn to x. If our xi is 0, then we are going to have a x to the fourth graph, negative x to the fourth graph like this. But we could also have a x1 is negative, and so it would look like this. Or we could have an x1 is positive, and it would look like this. Just however we want to have this look for, depending on what our initial position is, would just change this as we want it. 